But my pick today, Nicholas Estet, the chip leader, Roddy. You don't love him, but I cannot not pick him. He's got too many chips. Phenomenal player and apparently always just wins every and look at Wei Jiao. He's so tilted because he's under the gun at the final table for his hand. And now this it's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah. who's your pick today, Roddy? I mean, I, I I do like Nicholas Estet. Let's get that out of the way first. I think he's an amazing poker player. It's just a little fun that I kept betting on him and he never won. And then he also knocked me out of one of the biggest spots. Back, probably the biggest spot, actually, I've been in. For him, that was an irrelevant 1K turbo. But for me, Nanonoko, that was everything, okay? So it's just a bit funny. But I think Nicholas is fantastic. I'll go with David Yen, man. David Yen looks like a guy who could win the GSL. He doesn't want to win GSLs. He wants to win poker tournaments instead. So I'm going to go with David Yan. I think he can run it up, and I think he can take it all. Well, Wei Zhao just did the goodbye, and he's going to be up against the pocket jacks of Nicholas Estet. Of course, but this is kind of good, though, in a way, Ooh. because now there is some extra money in the middle. I know he gets it in in terrible position. However, no, no, now there is extra money in the center. Let's see what Pedro does. Okay, he's just, obviously this is not a proper race, right? So they can't really do anything. Yeah. Give the man some nines. Give the man some diamonds. Because now there is 462k in the middle. If he wins the hand, he's got nine bigs. This is looking pretty bad. <laughs> oh, Ooh. there is one. <laughs> he probably thinks he's got the best hand potential. He likes to see that check check on the flop, like unlikely to have an ace. But this guy's sitting with pocket jacks. You tell me Nicholas is that didn't three bet this hand? He's trying to just max troll his opponent or something. I think Wei Zhao now knows that he is in trouble. If they don't have the ace, they could very well have the queen. That's not the case. But the jacks of Nicholas that have been very slow played in this end will hold up. Sam Greenwood showing us that then Kevin White is still dresses up for the occasion. And I thought it was easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Funny thing is, Dead Mouse probably prefers it if you don't wear a sewer tie. Yeah. I don't even know if Kevin Mountain, if Kevin Martin even realized that. But uh, very, very cool to see. Um, I believe they gave away or what are going to give away like a dead mouse head for, for winning the tournament or something. Right. I, I thought that was really cool. I was like, oh man, I really want to play that one, but there's too many people to beat. And at one point I was like, can I have it? <laughs> and he had, he's like, oh yeah, I've got so many. Don't worry about it. It was even a little speaker. I was like, that's so cool. A little portable dead mouse speaker. Yeah. Jason, what? Ooh. Sean Daniels open folded. No, not open folded. He folded to the race. He had ace jack offsuit, which I don't mind, but that's good news for Sammy that he actually took it down with an inferior race. Yeah. Um, yeah, that one I don't mind because you got to look no. at what under the gun plus one versus two seats over. Nothing mm -hmm. but the jacks. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know. I mean, Sam Greenwood's an expert in MTT poker. I am not, but. I think I kind of agree with you. It seems like some mistake was was played somewhere in that hand. I mean, you basically yeah. only fired a little bet on the river, and that was a, that was it. I feel like he should have three bet that hand for sure. Plus, Pedro might make a move on you, thinking you're making a move on him because you yeah. got two big blinds, right? Like you're gonna get a guy to jam two nines, two tens, a, a lot. And sometimes we need to wait forty five minutes before we actually have like a hand where we're like, hey, Nano. That was an interesting hand. Let's talk through that one. What if it's a 25k factor? People playing a little bit different because of 25k. I can yep. definitely see that happening. He's like three hearts, but I do not care. I've got a straight and I would love to see you call off with any pair or any two pair. David Yen is not restricted by the size of the pot, Roddy. He can choose any size of it. It's 1% up to 2 million percent. I think the standard is a three bet here, uh, especially with these stack sizes. It's a good stack size to target. You got the chip lead. Your hand actually doesn't play that well for just smooth calling. Still a lot of guys behind you. I don't think he's going to fold this one though, Roddy. I don't think you fold here. You pay 180k to play for a pot of 800k at that point. I don't think we're going to fold. It's one of the hardest hands to play. Oh, uh, the jack. Stop it, Nano. Say, if I'm Sean Daniels, I'm yeah, I'm gonna expect a bet. I don't think he should. The only reason I'm saying that is with Ace Jack, you block some of the hands you want to beat. Jack tens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's it's a big hand. Jack ten will call pre flop. This should be interesting um, because I feel like Sammy he's gonna want to play this hand. He's got a, a nice stack size and nice suited. Well, he hasn't folded yet, and he is indeed. I'm gonna go for a little race. 
early in the final table. Sometimes you just close your eyes and just, yes, he's just going to take the, the, we're all equi with the hand, force his opponent out. Don't want to... One out of he's, four. Up, he's up a lot of money in this tournament, and I feel like it's un he should be our biggest winner, but because of the guys who won the tournaments with a million dollars, like those guys mm -hmm. like uh, have about one more money than him, but like it surprises me how solid this guy is because he plays very solid. I think we both agree on that, Roddy, but he, <laughs> he's, he's... But he's been there grinding every Sunday, 44 weeks in a row. I mean, I think that definitely helps getting you there where you want to be. He does really well in the Super Millions, but he actually does extremely well on every other type of tournament out there, right? Like mm -hmm. he's... You know what I find fascinating about you guys? And maybe that's because I'm a whiny StarCraft player. This Jack is good. We know it's good. Javiero gives up. Well done, Pedro. Wins uh, a pot of eight big blinds. Not bad. Let's, let's hope Sammy just gets carried away with these two fours and wants to see a flop because he will win the rest of the chips. Oh, no, he just falls out, right? You hate him. He, I can't. You got money in this guy? Eighty dollars? Yeah, he's that to me. I am gonna <laughs> add him to my blacklist of people that I will never bet on again. I, I probably unlikely he would have saw a flop anyways, right? Because he raise gets three bet, pretty hard. I'm calling you. You gonna fold the set pre flop, mate? Let's see what Sean Daniels does. This is a standard fold, Roddy. Okay. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, we don't get to see. Nice one for Jason Kundo, guys. Memes aside, obviously, Kings, mandatory three bet there. Greenwood also folded a set, just saying. Yeah, but he only, you know, he could never make quads. I understand folding a set if you can't make quads anymore, Nana. This could actually get some fireworks, right? Between David Yen and Sa Sammy Calapero. Well, Sammy will just call. David Yen, we know that once he starts something, he likes to finish it, but. He's going uh, half pot. I mean, this is a hand where you can actually probably multi-barrel a good amount. Um, so it's, I wouldn't say it's a one and done, but not that card. That is the worst card to multi-barrel because if your opponent in the big blind had an ace, he's not folding. If he had a queen, he's definitely not folding. Mm -hmm. um, just an auto lose card. Yeah, I like the way you put that, where sometimes people feel like they always want to keep betting. And if you call with an ace on that flop, you're probably going to call with an ace on that turn because you can't really put your opponent on trips all the time in small blind against big blind battles. So he needs to just wait how often he potentially gets check raise fluffed on the river, which mm -hmm. that's not what you want to see. He is going to go for the value bet, and it's a nice one. Um, David, I'm thinking about calling too, I guess, but yeah, nice fold. I like oh, that nice by post. Sammy. The, if the rebuy players happen to run up a stack on the first bullet, you know, maybe it might be harder to make that a uh, five million. Oh, absolutely. Right? Like, left me alone, uh, Michael Adamo, European, you know, Victor Malinowski, like these guys, if they, they are running hot on their first bullet, yep. it's going to be some overlay. You're going to see a lot more new regs coming into this tournament at the very end, too. Because there's a lot of guys that even when they sign up early, they are not willing to do two, three, four bullets. It's one time and one time only. But Nicholas called from the big blind. And I don't think that Joe Vieira likes to see this call, right? With queens, there's an ace on the flop. When he bet the flop, actually, probably wasn't looking for a call. And now uh, he's. He's more likely to have an eight. Very likely. Nice Ooh. bet here. And I don't think Zhao can call. He bet quickly as well. No, didn't he bet them quick? It would turn their hands into bluffs too. Like the queen tens, the king tens. These hands will check call and turn their hands into bluff. A lot of the seven X's are actually two pairs. Seven, mm -hmm. nine, ten, seven. Like, oh, wow. Nicholas getting the best there of Zhao Viera. I love it. Yeah. And if I recall correctly, there was the one that Michael Adamo got to the end of the, he got second place again. Mm -hmm. David Yen, he actually final table bubbled. He was, jam he, I think he jammed pocket fours or fives and, with like a big stack into like Jackson, but he just kept jamming. Cause I remember railing that fi uh, pre-final table and he just kept jamming on people. So like, he just goes for it, man. Then he had to fold last hand. Now he's three betting me. Makes the call with King Jack suited, and that's one of the worst flops you could ever see for your King Jack of Hearts. Yeah, it's just, sometimes your your premiums start to look a little different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> King Jack is like, hmm, it like turns into the meme, you know. Look at these hands real fast. Just look at them. Uh oh. Right. What does Sammy Calapura does? He just called. Oh, that's such a good spot for Ace King suited. Mm-hmm. I feel Six like he's ten. just going to jam, though, but I think, yeah, no, I like the three. But perfect. It's not that big. I mean, it's obviously still big, but 492. 
Que a Viera is a man who's very ICM aware, but he actually just sends it. Sammy Kalapura is wondering what the hell is happening here. He's got nines. He's going to probably let it go. This would just be insane. But Ace King suited is not going to let it go. Might be a little worried if you're Pedro here, but these guys are basically playing four stacks diamonds versus hearts. Oh. There's the queen, though. We need a king or a 10, or Pedro got bamboozled. Can we find a king or a 10? King? Oh, Maybe no. king of clubs? What is that? No, oh, it's the say. jack of clubs. What a tease. Javiera with the double up, and Pedro is pretty much eliminated. Feel bad for uh, Pedro. Final table, 25k. Last week, I feel like he played really well. He could have won the high roll of Super Millions. Back to back final tables for him. Well, with 4 million chips, like, he, he can get away with this. But uh... but it's Xiao Viera, mate. Xiao Viera <laughs> doesn't do these things, okay? Ooh. All right, see you, guy. That is Bye -bye. probably it for Pedro, unless he finds a magical 5 on the river. But even if he does, that could be a 5. But it's not a 5. And it's going to be a four. And that will do it. Pedro. Now everybody's showing their Jackson. Oh, uh, this so was brutal. a little slow for a sour, but now everyone just dying. They're gone. The way David Yan plays, does he strike you as a guy just to see a flop just in case? <laughs> no. Okay. And that's a big race too. That you know, X then the ace. Wow, this wow. is actually one way that he can save himself. But... Wow, I'm surprised. I, I I was like, what did I say? Right? I was like, does he strike you as a guy who wouldn't get it in pre flop? And he somehow didn't. But yeah, if it is ace queen, for instance, his opponent feels real good. Oh, Jason, good, cool, you tricky. Oh, not... <laughs> Let's finish it off with a jack for David Yan. Wow, what does David Yan beat? Even loses to the random hands like Queen Jack that happened in 10 9. He loses to 10 9 too at this point. That's insane. Wow. People are going to be so sick when they see this, uh, the hand showdown. Is David Yan thinking about turning his hand to no? Oh my yeah. God. These guys are going to be sick. If I don't see any emotes now, guys, I'll be properly. I think the rest of the table is so in shock. They did not even bother looking at the emoji. They're, they're actually all clicking the hand history button right now and reviewing <laughs> it. Like, what, what, what happened here? What do you How mean? Did they not get it all in? Why didn't we get a pay jump? <laughs> Next payout is 194,000, which means even Semi Calapuro is in the green. <laughs> if I'm Jason Kuhn, I'm, I'm be pissed if I see that hand. Yeah. As played, it's pretty good for sure. Um... You know what I'd love to see? Like everyone calling here and a beautiful queen of clubs on the turn. I feel like that would be justice for David Yen. I want to see a queen of clubs, and I know. I guess David Yen's thinking about can't should he just jam this potentially on the flop? I wouldn't hate that to be honest, because he doesn't have that many big blinds left, right? It's like 16, 17 bigs. Yeah. I actually kind of like it. Hope for the best. Javiera probably I mean that's a lot to call off though, right? That's a million chips. He cannot make the call with second pair and a gut shot. Well done by David Yen. I don't want to say he's back, but he's back to 1.9 million. Man, if he wins this tournament, Roddy, it'd be so, so sick. Sam Greenwood with his suited ace is going to raise things up from the cutoff. Make a little call. Oh my goodness, what a flop for Sam. Hey, yeah. And, um, uh, because you do, I guess it's good enough to see a turn card. I think Greenwood should bet again, though. No, it's not that. It's, no. it's pretty close, mate. That's oh, I mean, one of the I million outs. Ahead. Like 16, 17 outs. It's pretty reasonable. Yeah, this is the amazing call. This is what it comes down to. You cannot find that amazing call. David Yen wins even more chip. He kind of slowed down. Yeah, and then he's like, okay, maybe I can't do this anymore. Oh, interesting. Very interesting coming up. Just call. Imagine if oh, David Yen doesn't call. I would have loved to see him call with the deuces too. Nobody flops a set. Not even the deuces would have flopped a set. Unless we make a set. Oh, he doesn't well, even like see that. He's going to skip the first part. Just straight to folding. 
Um, Coon probably would check too. Oh, the deuce would have got yeah. a free turn. You know that? He would have won this pot for sure. <laughs> yeah, someone's got. Oh, that's the new saying. Someone's got to make a set whenever someone has three pot. When it's three pocket pairs out there. Uh, yeah, I agree. Let's check, check again. Eight of hearts rolls up on the river. Both players have one heart in their hand. He's also wondering what the hell am I ever going to get called by, and I don't want to get check raised, so going to let it go. It's David Jen right now. I won't understand at all. Zero. Not relevant. Then it's not relevant at all, mate. Now we're going to move on. He's no Ramashka, I'll tell you that. Joe <laughs> <laughs> Vieira trying to defend the big blind here with four or five. And you call these hands like the, the card in the window is often very visible, right? But he's still going to continue. Um, deep stacks, little draw to a very strong straight. Uh, wow. Check raise. I like it. Beautiful play. And Nicholas lets it go immediately. And Joe Vieira. I have the feeling that Sean Daniels is going to do something wild this hand now. No? It's like you said he before. I feel like you feel like his wheels are rolling off, right? Like he's been waiting to make a play and he hasn't. Yeah. Now these King Jacks are looking good. King Queen, they're not, it's almost not even suited. It's probably looking like a premium now. God instinct. He will just call though. And that is a disastrous flop for King Queen. I like part of me just wants to see him double up somewhere. I just want to see what he would do if he had the chip lead. I feel like if he is going to double, it's going to be a small blind against big blind. He calls here though with king queen two clubs on the board if you had a club in your hand definitely you can get behind it because he really likes to give his opponents the idea that they have the best hand even though they don't and they're like drawing almost dead that might trick sean sean might be like did you really check an ace on the turn on on this board this price is looking good too like the sizes are on point for jason yeah Kuhn. he nice does let though. it go well done. Jason is taking very interesting lines tonight. And that's uh, an understatement. Even with the Jacks and the Queens that we saw. Sam wondering if he should open it up with A6 suited under the gun. And he will. Nicholas will probably defend his big blind though. He's got the chips. 10-8 suited. And that is a magnificent mm -hmm. flop for Nicholas. Yeah. And for Sam Greenwood, not a great flop. But then he, you know, sometimes you try to look for some spots. And when you look at the back doors... I wonder if Nicholas raises here. It's a small bet out of position. I kind of like raising. I feel like you give your opponent a lot of times ace-king, ace-queen to just check back the turn. I uh, I think I'm totally with you. I'd love to see a raise here. Nicholas agrees with us. Three wrongs don't make a right. But I think in this case, we were right all along. Sam is forced to fold. We have a very interesting hand here. Ace-jack suited, ace-deuce suited, pocket nines in the small blind, and ace-queen offsuit in the big blind. Hello, Nananoko. All okay. right. Okay, and now we throw one more curveball in there. Sam Green with three betting the worst of it. I don't, I mean, obviously ICM, you could say maybe you can fault here and you don't feel bad about it. Well, if nines, you're playing for the win, um, though, if you're playing for the win. David Yan folded two nines, and that's already a big fold. Well, he is going to ship the ace queen. Good read, Roddy. You are on point, and he wins it. My well God. done, Sammy. I don't think I'm on point. I think Sammy is on point. But... I feel uh, I'm really enjoying this tonight because it's different. It's not necessarily like crazy setup after crazy setup and massive swings. It's a grind, but it makes sense when we're playing the final table with 25k. Uh, I'm really enjoying how it's unfolding so far. Roddy, this, this, did you read that stupid uh, comment that our, our guy... He, there's a fake poker Sasha in the chat saying that you're a no limit holding god. I mean, apparently you keep telling me that this person says you're the shittiest player in the world. That was funny because right before we went live, as we have Nicholas trying to take this one away, Jason Kuhn doesn't want to give up, but what a run out this is. We'll see what happens on the river. And I just replied, highly unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Yeah. So, it's almost... Oh my wow. god, he calls! Genius. Let's go, Jason. I mean, sure, it was only three big blind bad on the river, but that's an impressive call. We've actually seen a lot of big uh, pairs playing it slow in mm -hmm. this uh, 25k today. And like I said, I, I kind of think it's a 25k factor a little bit. I think this ace king might, 
You think he slow plays again, or you think he three bets finally? I think he three bets. No, oh, well, this time uh, he doesn't. Man, Jason really does not want to get. Uh... I don't want to say out of line because three betting ace king is not out of line. Well, that's an action flop if I've ever seen one, right? <laughs> Bottom two pair for yeah. Nicholas. Well, Jason flops a gutter bow and obviously the ace high flush draw. Number mm -hmm. one and number two in chips. He doesn't want to blow up the pot. It's hands very vulnerable, so which is unfortunate. I like Jason. Oh, I want nice. to say I like Jason Kuhn's hand a lot more than Nicholas. I want to take now? that back. <laughs> he can't win it. Not even the royal flush or straight flush anywhere. I think he should check though. Jacks it. Oh my god. But Is he's that... not gonna go broke. He's not gonna go no. broke. Yeah, it's good that the eight of clubs. The seven of clubs have been a lot worse. The eight of clubs is very good because of the obvious straight flush out there. This is a funny hand. I'm surprised by that check, to be honest. Uh, yep, with that emoji for sure. Yeah, it just calls. <laughs> with that emoji for sure. You knit. You knit. Nicholas wins a 1.8 million chip pot. Jason Kuhn hits him with the you suck. Sam Greenwood, meanwhile, picks up aces. This is why, I mean, this is what you said before, right? Where you, yeah, you can play safe and conservative and just kind of flat with your big hands against the other big stack. But then these scenarios do start on with the Jack 10 suited. You think he would have, let's say if Sammy jams there, 1.7 million, can you still fold? Be stupid. If you're going to fold that, then. Uh oh. 10-9 yeah. offsuit, all in from the small blind. Nicholas Estad wakes up with a7. For the tournament, it'd be fun if 10-9 oh, oh wins, and 10-9 is winning at this point. We need to avoid aces and aces only. And if we do, Sean Daniels will double up, and that's not an ace. There you go. 10-9. Flop's really good, Nananoko. <laughs> that's my thing. He's not giving me the opportunity right now. That's probably a good thing for both you and Nicholas, mate. Like... <laughs> How about this one? <laughs> but oh he even offsuit nicholas makes the call immediately i don't know if any aces are dead trip fours though nope aces and aces only oh we need an ace or sam greenwood will be eliminated in seventh place is it an ace nope that's not an ace could be a four but doesn't matter gg sam greenwood is out nicholas instead wins a 3.1 million chip pot <laughs> i mean it's it's hard to draw dead in that game i'm pretty sure Nicholas is closing in on your 8 million chip barrier, mate. I'm feeling really... After he takes out David Yen in this hand, uh, we got time to celebrate. <laughs> what do we got guaranteed flop. here? Quarter million? Ah, nice payday. You got You can uh, represent the 5 too, right? Because you're in the you big can line. represent the 5. You got good uh, equity. You can get a lot of folds. And Ace Queen's going to call here too. A real battle is on this card. The three. The David one. Yen is a man who likes to finish what he started, though. The reason is if you look at the stack sizes, uh, Nicholas Estet often has ace high or like a king queen. Mm -hmm. The reason is Nicholas Estet on this uh, flop texture against this. This could be a very fun hand, Nano. Jason is sitting on a suited ace. He lets it go, but Sammy Calapuro. And his position is under the gun versus big blind. He is oh, going to ship it in, though. Sean Daniels is back, right? Yep. Let's back. not forget that Jason also folded in an ace. It's going to be hard to make straights with two queens dead, so we're drawing to two outs. Now we're drawing to a few more outs, but it's really not very many. An ace or a jack on the river. Could, be, could have been an ace, but it's not an ace, and that means Sammy Calapuro will be eliminated in sixth place. Walks away with... 8.5 million, everyone with 3 million, five, like aces, king, queen. All it took was tables. to not call this the high roller super millions, but sort of call it the high roller super millions. Huh? I do like it though. Whenever you start a speech like that and then someone gets aces, that's where I feel like we see a brutal suck out. And you know, that's the jack of clubs. I can't wait for the run out, the 10 9 or the club club. It's coming. <laughs> there David Jan has to go with it. Aces versus king, queen. We need runner, runner. Okay, we've got four outs. All we need is a 10 for the Nananoko curse to be in full effect. But well, there is no 10. It's going to be the four of diamonds. David Jen is eliminated in fifth place. Walks away with 300. And... I kind of like it. It's pretty... It's obviously risky, but I do like it. Yeah, it's pretty sick.
<laughs> John Daniel. What is it with Sean Daniels and Queen Seven? You remember our pre-show? That's the end. Very blessed in a way. What is it with Queen Seven opposite? I need the we're story trying, behind this. We try to end him or something. You know, we just we want to end it in style. With Queen Seven. I, I think he'll get it dealt at least one more time before he ends this tournament. Out of all the hands to have a, like a weird affiliation for Queen Seven opposite, like I want to see something very special about this. Random straight, huh? Right. Yeah, that's like one of these hands that you have no interest in. And you're like, oh, I've got a straight. Like first, I have ace high, and I think that's good. Somehow, I end up with the wheel draw. So on this, oh yeah, my god, nice, <laughs> nicely <laughs> done, sir, nicely done. <laughs> but okay, we need to find out. Honestly, like I'm done with this show. Ten bullet uh, t uh, buy-in strategy, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, broadcasted events, whether it's television or like high stakes poker, whatever. And they're like, I kind of play like that. Well, we don't. And everyone like deep down inside, you know, you don't, but you like to think that you do, right? You're like, what's so different about what he does than what I do? And the truth is he should have won one already. Like we know that <laughs> one tournament where he got the three all ins and like, he, yeah, that was the one. Mm -hmm. um, still makes the call and that turn card. Javier, I also feel like strikes me as someone that's a bit paranoid about his opponent having it. And like the seven, eight, you know, like it's unlikely, but I mean, that's also why I'm doing it because it hasn't been going very well lately. So, <laughs> all righty, let's see. Lines are up. It's getting intense. A couple of playable hands, right? Queen 10 offsuit, Jack 9 suited, King 9 suited. Wow, Nicholas. <laughs> that's sick. That's disgusting for Joe Vieira, but obviously got to just fall. Yeah, he's playing the player in the situation. Great jam. That really does hurt. Nines Ooh. against ace deuce, but I think Zhao just calls, calls and he should because of how short Sean is. If Sean had yep. a two million stack, then he more likely to reship. I'm totally with you. I feel like the only right player is calling. Yeah, if if he jams though, like it's just this is not bad. This is Yeah, but now Nicholas is gonna jam. Yeah. You no, know, but I'm saying this is much better than jamming pre flop. Like if you were to play aggressive. Yeah, but we can see a flop with a suited ace. Now. I guess the question is when do we do whole cards up all in? Because right now it's just a pretty flop heavy game. I don't really like the race with ace nine. Like ship or fold? Yeah. And I would prefer ship. It actually takes it down, so it worked out. But right, this is one of the combinations that could happen. But uh, maybe not Jason Kuhn getting the chips. It's more likely the other way around. Mm -hmm. Like the Jack 10. So he's going to lean a little bit more towards all in with the Ace 9. Yeah. Don't fault him. One of the Queens is that, but obviously that doesn't matter. Jason Kuhn needs an Ace. And he needs an Ace badly. Uh, needs an Ace or a 9. We do pick up a pair, but not the pair we're looking for. Still needs to be an Ace or a 9 only. And that is not it. <laughs> like she runs out with three tens. But he has I mean, a full Daniels. Say it. Go ahead. But he has a full house, Roddy. Doesn't that mean anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what some people like to point out. No, Jason Kuhn is a short as stack. Ooh. Seven nine is not going to be it. What do you think about this? Because Jal might be thinking about rejamming this hand. Ace King could knock him out if he does. Oh my. Oh my God. God. No, Sean Daniels with Ace King here in absolute dream. I mean, it's a bit tricky because Jason is so short, but it's Ace King. No, 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 Co. It's Ace King. No, no ja Sean's not going to fold, but I'm just saying, I can't believe Jao might be out before Jason Kuhn. That'd be insane. But Queen Jack suit is still pretty good. Let's see what we get. He needs a Queen or a Jack. The Queen or a Jack only. Faint. Nope, that's it. That's a 10 or a 9. That is not good enough. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. He showed so much patience. Now he gives all the chips to Sean Daniels while Jason Kuhn is at five, six big blinds. That's felt so unnecessary with Jason Kuhn being down to five big blinds. Like Queen Jack suited, it's pretty. But is it a $160,000 pay jump? Pretty? I think this is a call coming up with the, the Jack 9. That's six. Well, how many, I don't even know how many big yeah. lines he calls. He does make the call. Jack nine can obviously get there. So far, he doesn't get there. We need a jack or a nine. Jack or a nine only. No Roddy Pet, is it live? 
Jack? No, it's that's no a spade, longer. so it cannot be a Jack. That's it. Jason Kuhn is out in third place, and we are heads up. <laughs> I think it'd be a bit unnecessary. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, we can't unsee those back doors, Roddy, once you become that. Once you hear about it, you can't ever unsee <laughs> it. Nicholas Flops mid pair here with a 6 3 offset. That's definitely worthy of one big blind. Some Daniels may see a turn, and that's one of the turn cards you kind of want to see, right? Maybe a nine is even better, but the king the is pretty door. good. <laughs> I would check the Jack 10. I think it has enough showdown value in this spot. Um, it's not the nut low. The, the nut, nut nothing. Mid? The nut mid. The nut nothing. That's not an ace. That's even he an calls. Ace. Wow, he calls. <laughs> really feeling it. I have the feeling that Nicholas almost thought that he was bluffing. Not too much besides play Queen 7 this whole tournament. <laughs> well, he's going to play 9 7 suited here. Yeah. He limbs. Nicholas got aces. I feel like you kind of want to call here, right? With 9 7 because it flops pretty good. Oh, uh oh, this oh, could oh. be it. No, 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 Ko. This could be it. Yeah, it really, really could be. I hope Sean Daniels just calls here. Um, racing would be a disaster. Oh, the 7. Just to give him a little more to be helpful about. Bet again. Aces is pedal to the metal, man. Heads up. You don't really care about the board. We just keep betting. <laughs> yeah. Bet. Put it in your bank account. The four. Nice run out. Yeah. Sean Daniels is going to be a hero with a seven. <laughs> Goes for it all. This Almost seems like a dumb spot to... I was going to say to hero call off on a river, yeah. though. Nice fold. I feel like that was a real turning point tonight. At that point, Nicholas started to run away with it. Even that hand wasn't that big. It wasn't well, like a, it was big for what we've been seeing, but we mm -hmm. haven't really seen some crazy all. We haven't seen much of post flop like craziness. I, I feel just a lot of solid learning uh, plays today. Six hundred, nice. I think I want to call you with uh, nine eight flop bottom pair, couple back doors. Sean Daniels flops top two. A call, turn an eight. And if it's uh, written in the stars, it's written in the stars. I guess Nicholas is going to have to give up here, right, when Sean bets. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering Ooh. if Sean should check. I don't mind it because of how shallow if you had more chips. But with this one, it makes... Did he snap check that river? Yeah. He I don't like that one. The river. Because if my opponent didn't take the bait on the turn, I doubt he's going to take a bait on this card on the river. Oh, he's just sitting out now. What happened? He just quit? Oh, no. That's kind of... Oh! <laughs> well, Nicholas no. got six and, a... six and a half minutes of time bank left, so he can obviously stall a little bit until Sean Daniels is able to reconnect. <laughs> okay. The true class play here, Roddy, would be to fold. Just because he got a walk the last hand. I know I don't know if he's gonna do it. He's gonna raise. It. Okay, but like that'd be the true class play to do, Roddy. Don't do it like this, Nicholas Estet. Come on. You've got 17 million chips. Don't do this guy. Okay. Oh, he's sitting least... out too. Nicholas yeah. is sitting out as well. I like. Can't read that. Quick, which is very correct. bad for the short stack. Correct, correct. Oh, oh it's okay. There we are. Oh wow, welcome back. A6 against A ten. Yeah. <laughs> Nice no timing to sit back in, guys. Like, good luck, really. mate. Good luck, good luck. All in call. And it's all, oh my God, you're kidding me. A6 against A10. Welcome back, Sean Daniels. Okay, promising flop at least. We pick up extra outs. We need a six or a three, or it's all over. Six or a three. Nope, He's that's out. the ace of hearts, and that is obviously no good. GG, guys. Nicholas Ostad has finally sort of done it as he wins the High Roller Super Millions Week 44, the 25K, the Sunday 5 million, $1.1 million added to his already impressive list of winnings. That was honestly a pretty funny ending. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, you're back, mate. Welcome back. Good luck. No problem. Good luck. All in call. And it's all over. Sure.